In this episode, we're talking about how to save money on all your short-term rental purchases. Vacation Rental Machine helps hosts just like you learn how to start, grow, and scale your short-term rental business. This show is all about creating systems that help you automate your business, giving you more time and money freedom. If you're ready to start living the vacation rental life, then subscribe to this podcast today. Come and join us on our Facebook group, The Host Nation, where we'll be talking about starting, automating, and scaling a short-term rental business. Now, on to the show. Welcome back, Host Nation. We are talking about how to save money because we are going to be doing a lot of buying. We got our new units and we're out there and we got to furnish them. We got to buy all this stuff. Well, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on exactly how you can save some pennies that equal to dollars, that equal to a little bit more. Over the lifetime of your business, you should definitely have hundreds and maybe thousands of dollars that you've saved just by some of these tips. All right, John. So maybe I don't have lots and lots of properties to be, you know, purchasing from these warehouses and these wholesalers. And when usually when I'm thinking about wholesalers, I'm thinking like large quantities, maybe larger business, because, you know, the wholesaler is basically getting it more directly from, let's say, the uh, the person. You know, when you're buying something from, let's say, like a Kmart, usually they're purchasing it from someone else. When you're going wholesaling you're going like directly to the uh to the manufacturer a lot of times is that how that works so what in the short-term rental space how do wholesalers work and how can you apply that to your business all right so we're going to have to trick the system to try to equal some of those wholesale prices and things we can't really get them out the gate but we do shop at the same places multiple times So they do offer some type of incentive or they might have some program that we might need to be in to really get a good benefit. So we know that we got to buy furniture. We know that we're going to be purchasing stuff from Amazon. Um, So we want to make sure that we're set up right with them so we can save the most money that we can. Part of that includes more than likely setting up a business account with those vendors. So I only shop on Amazon business. Why? because it helps me save just a little bit of money on the quantity purchases that I have to make. And I'm making those on every unit. So when I'm buying pillows or I'm buying duvet covers or comforters, I got to buy those with some type of quantity. So therefore I'm able to save when I kind of bundle all of that stuff together. Same thing with some of the other vendors. We'll walk through how to set certain things up with the vendors and just an example of the difference in prices that you pay versus going there on the regular retail side of things versus setting up a business account with the right vendor. So John, you sent me a link of a chair that is available through one of these wholesalers, which is Hay Needle. Um, I'm seeing it being 320, but on your side, you're seeing a different price. That's right. Just by setting up a business account with this vendor, I'm able to pay $280 for this chair. So that's about 12% in savings. Now, being able to save that, like I said, it's not much just off of the one item. But once you bundle everything together, you are saving probably a good $100, $120 on the entire order of everything. And that's just extra that you could keep. If you're doing this for a co-host client, you might even just be able to pass along the original MSRP and you can actually keep the extra gap room on top. But just by signing up for this special account, you are saving money. The reason why they know that you're going to be coming back and back and back. Same thing with Wayfair Business. I'm a platinum Wayfair Business person right now. Uh, That just means I probably spend over $20,000 in a year. Probably my last three orders alone equaled more than $20,000 with them. So you're going to be buying stuff in volume. You're going to be buying stuff consistently. That's why they want to give you some certain prices. One of the best things that I learned with dealing with Wayfair is even though I might have business select pricing, Uh, When I put all my stuff in my cart and my cart price equals over $2,000, I call up Wayfair and say, hey, I'm ready to buy this stuff. Can you quote it to me? You can say those exact words. What they're going to do, they're going to go through each line item on that cart price and they're going to try to squeeze just a little bit more out of it. So therefore, I'm not only getting business pricing, but 
I called and I got a quote and they're probably trying to squeeze another $200 off the entire order. What I'm saving total is all good, right? I know I got to spend it no matter what, but I'm saving something. Same thing with Amazon. I'm going to show you guys how the business side of Amazon looks. So here we are pulling up our Amazon screen and this is just a TV mount, right? We all got to buy TV mounts. You know how many TVs I mount a year? It's unheard of. Over here towards the right, you see quantity discounts. This shows me the pricing for as many as I need to buy. Because I, I know I'm putting up a lot of TVs, I typically order my TV mounts by the 20s. Just because you never know when you're going to need one. I mean, literally, if you think three TVs a place, that, that's a lot of TVs a year. Um, so always look for that quantity discount over there. Sometimes you'll see it over here that it's already taken down just a little bit, but you still get business pricing. One of the other key things to remember with this is sometimes by having a business account, you also get business shipping. That is key because that means your cutoff window for shipping is at 5 p.m. That helps when you're waiting for furniture. You're not waiting until 8 p.m. for things to kind of get to the place, right? So that's another tip that I learned that I love. Um, it keeps my staff pretty much going home by a reasonable amount of time. Not all the vendors do that, but with Wayfair and Amazon, that is one of those things. Last thing I'll talk about, just about saving in general, it's one thing I found recently, that is Wikibuy. Wikibuy for me saves me some extra money basically on the stuff that I'm going to purchase anyway, what it does for me is actually it runs through those coupon codes at the cart. And then all of a sudden it says, Hey, we saved you some money. Not every time does it work, but at least it runs through the stuff for me instead of me going, searching the web, trying this code and not working, finding another one, it not working. It just does it real quick. And it just gets me there. It also gets me extra money from the purchases that I make. So where I might get 2% back on my card, I might get 2% back from Wikibuy. I also might get some points with the card or whatever. You kind of got to stack things. The reason why you got to stack is because you're going to be doing a lot of buying. This is the most exciting part of the business for me because, hey, I can get my, my, my flight miles just by my purchases of my units. You know, I got free flights lined up. Okay, that's great. I got 2% cash back here, but I was able to stack it. So it looks like 7%, 7% cash back. That's tax free for me. What can I do with that? You know, all of this stuff, this is great. You're buying, you're going to need to take advantage of all the tips and tricks that you have. I'm sure that there are more out there. I'm willing to learn more. I want to save more. If I can get stuff for free, I'd love it. But hey, I know it's not really possible. Speaking of that, you can coupon, right? There's some people that coupon out of daily life, just certain things. You know, you're going to be doing a lot of laundry in this business. Um, so if you're going to wash your laundry offsite yourself, you need the stuff to do that. Um, you can also pick up some of your other uh, disposable items, toilet paper, paper towel, stuff like that. Use whatever tips and tricks you might have up your sleeve already just to maximize your business uh, profits. Uh, it doesn't hurt to, to stretch and do any of that. Costco is another big vendor, of course. Uh, they, are, they have the warehouse pricing. I typically get my TVs from Costco just because they seem to always be on sale unless I just want to purchase them from Best Buy and get my, my certificates so I can get something for free. And I'm always like, Best Buy, you're going to be platinum. Wayfair, you're going to be platinum. Like all of this stuff, you're going to just be the top tier of whatever. So use it all to your benefit. I can go on for days on this one. This one is very exciting. Yeah, one of my favorite extensions just for your regular web browser is called Honey. Uh, it's a very useful tool because it actually searches through. So like if I'm trying to purchase a domain name or if I'm looking at any particular product, it'll pull up like coupons for that site or it'll try to find something. So uh, it, it has saved me a lot of money. It's just, it's a free plugin that you can add. Um, but there's a lot of really cool tips I like using with uh, Amazon. I always get the Amazon 
uh, credit card. So that's something that I use because one, if, if it's maybe smaller purchases and I don't plan on putting it towards like the credit, uh, that offers you up to 5% back, uh, cash back, which is uh, really helpful. And then if you are trying to do some type of financing, maybe you're, you're going to be doing some big purchases and maybe you don't have that type of cash. Maybe you don't, maybe you're looking to maybe have some type of special financing. I know Amazon is very good about that. They offer special financing of up to uh, 12 months, even if you are making purchases over a certain amount. I think it's like over $700. But John, uh, is this the same for like Wayfair and Hayneedle? Do they have those credit cards that either give you the uh, cash back or the special financing terms? Wayfair definitely does have that. Hey Needle doesn't really have that exact thing, but you could put off payments on uh, Wayfair, just like you said, for Amazon. And that could be key, especially if you are getting your apartments with some type of incentive, maybe a free month or something, you already know you're going to have the revenue coming in to cover the cost. That would be stacking the best way that you can. I just downloaded Honey. Thanks for sharing. I mean, Honey's a good app. I like it. <laughs> and I think they might even have an affiliate link. So if they do have it, we'll include it in the description. Uh, Honey's, Honey's pretty good about that. I know that they, uh, they're they always uh, trying to get people into their, their thing. I don't know how they're making money because it, it literally just saves you money. So I like it. But uh, if you want to check it out, then we'll include that in the description as well. Yeah. I already downloaded it. I'm good to go. I'm searching. So this is a very helpful episode that'll save you a lot of money and hopefully save you time too, because like John was saying, with that business account, you're able to get those products uh, before uh, 5 p.m. And the regular uh, products, if you have just a regular account, it could be anywhere up to 8 p.m., which, you know, that, that can make a big difference when you are especially, you know, that, that time is money. So this is all about money, all about saving. I know John was really excited and just ran with this episode. Uh, so lots of good stuff in here that you can definitely take away to be able to better optimize your business. So question of the day, where are you doing your wholesale shopping? Where are you getting those sweet deals? I'm really curious. I'm sure that John is very curious too. So leave it in the comment section down below. And until next time, Host Nation, keep on hosting. Hope you hosts found value in this episode. If you did, please go on over to iTunes and leave us a review as that would greatly support the show. If you'd like to connect with John, the community, and I, then go on over to our Facebook group, The Host Nation. Talk to you hosts in the next episode. Keep on hosting.